Hi everyone, I'm Paul from Liberty Gate and today I want to cover the difference between freehold and leasehold property. This can be a really confusing and complicated subject but it's one that's essential if you're thinking of buying a property. Now a few years ago some developers started selling homes as leasehold properties rather than the traditional freehold which you would expect. This meant that the homeowners didn't actually own the land that the property sits on and therefore had to pay a ground rent. Fortunately the government stepped in and put a stop to this but it is something worth being aware of and if you are thinking of buying a new property it's well worth checking whether it is leasehold or freehold. Now the freehold is when you own the building and the land beneath it. The legal jargon for this is the title absolute and this is the safest and most secure form of title. It means that you've got complete control over your land and the property that sits on it. Now leasehold is where the confusion starts to enter the subject as there are now other parties involved in an element of your home. What you purchase as a leaseholder is the right to lease the property for a defined period of time under the terms stipulated in your lease. These are more common in apartment buildings. This allows for a structure to be put in place to fairly maintain and operate the building for all parties. The freeholder owns the land and is responsible for appointing the managing agent and often ensuring the building. The leaseholders have a right to lease the confines of their apartment and any title, parking or garage, but you do not own the apartment. There's a range of different lease lengths and they're typically granted between 99 years and 999 years. The thing to be aware of is the closer your lease is to running out, the more impact this can have on the value of your property. For example, most banks and mortgage lenders are wary of lending on anything that's less than 90 years and this can have a big impact on the saleability of your home. Now normally leaseholders can apply for an extension on their lease, but there are usually fees involved. So why would you rather buy a leasehold over a freehold or vice versa? Now if you're buying a freehold property obviously you do own the land that it sits on but that brings its own responsibilities. This means that you're liable for everything that's involved with the property, the plumbing, the gardens, the roof of the property, it's all your responsibility. With leasehold this works differently and you're only responsible for what's within your four walls. So in an apartment block where leasehold is more common you would have a building management company who then organise any repairs and maintenance. That covers things like communal gardens, any roofing works and also communal corridors. So in a nutshell the difference between leasehold and freehold is the trade-off of responsibility against ownership. Which one appeals to you depends entirely on your circumstances. So this is the basics of leasehold versus freehold, but this is an infinitely complicated area of property. So if you'd like any more information, please get in touch at libertygate.co.uk.